Um, this is uh, my video on why I think Kurt, but Kurt Cobain was a huge douche. Uh, I would say even a pretentious one. And uh, Axel rules for life, baby. That guy rules. Uh, not that he's a perfect guy, but you know he wasn't uh, as douchey as Kurt Cobain in terms of the old virtue signaling uh, crap. You know, I don't. <laughs> What's that song? That uh, uh, not that I like the name of the band. You know, it's it's kind of goes a little bit too far sometimes. But it's gone. It's called. Uh, uh, I respect your feeling as a woman and a human. Uh, it's just a joke song. I'm not saying the guy was perfect, but uh, you know, there there's some way that you can uh, work something out, but without knee jerking stuff. And uh, Kurt Cobain was just a huge douche. Uh, you know, I, I like Dave Grohl a little, uh, way, way more. Like that guy just nails it. He is way more real and he is way more chill and cooler than Kurt Cobain. Like Kurt Cobain is. Uh, is in my view just a huge douche. Uh, you know the the album Bleach was good, and uh, I guess uh, kind of become kind of uh, funny. How I don't. Know. It was kind of a hipster too, in a little in in a little bit of way. Just could kind of sing with the raw energy. Uh, you know there was like this uh, band that made it big. It was it was called uh, Nevermind. You know which <laughs> it sounds like as hipsterish as it as, as it could be. You know. Like I mean, give me Alice in Chains any day. Like that that album, Dirt, is way better than anything by uh, Nirvana in my view. Uh, uh, you know, uh, but you know, the Bleach album is kind of okay of Nirvana. Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe he made the, the the next album after Nevermind the Battle on Purpose just to troll this audience. You know, I got that from another video, but it was a funny fear either way. Either way. Uh, uh, what I like about Axel Rose is uh, he didn't have to kill himself to become a legend. Like that's the difference, you know. So you know, I mean, uh, you know, when you compare it to like Oscar bait uh, people or something like that, that um, I don't know. I, I feel like uh, there's something just uh, about this whole uh, climate in the United States that you know I have to be the good guy. I can't be the guy who wants to fix stuff. I just have to pretend to be like a huge virtuous guy and not do jack shit about it. I don't like Kirk, Kirk Cobain. I don't like him at all. Uh, just switch from the two-party system to a multi-party system. Problem solved. Like, example of one solution. You know, don't just be like, uh, uh, you don't think like me. Uh, you know, that, that's not going to solve anything. You know, screw that douche. Kirk Cobain was a huge douche. I think uh, Axel Rose is uh, way more rocking than uh, Kirk Cobain ever will, ever will be. That guy just... Uh, uh, he just uh, was a sappy dude who didn't, um, who just wanted to be sappy and uh, had a messiah complex or something. Uh, you know, maybe not as um, as evil as uh, Woodrow Wilson, maybe. You know, but uh, you know, it's, it kind of had this all. Uh, it, it just kind of was so blended in this whole emotional uh, shit fest. So, so you know, Kurt Cobain, huge douche, Axl Rose, the legit legend. And I like, uh, you know, and I also got, guess I'm going to comment a little bit on, you know, uh, some people have issues with Axl Rose and I don't know, I, I just read stuff on the internet, you know, maybe didn't treat uh, people very well sometimes and I can, you know, it's not, that's not cool, you know, we did treat the uh, girls and such, that's not cool at all, but, uh, you know, uh, despite his flaws, he still seems like a guy who can be redeemable, like uh, Kurt Cobain just gave up, uh, so, um, yeah, uh, Dave Grohl for life, Axel Rose for life, and Kirk Cobain, uh, you know, that guy screwed up. So I, I think that guy's a huge douche. This is my opinion on it. Uh, thank you for listening. And, uh, yeah, I guess I can say one more thing. Um, um, uh, I think Nevermind is just very low energy. And, and it sounds like he's on drugs. Um, because it was, but I don't like it. That's why I don't like it, too. Uh, you know, so... Uh, Bleach is a kind of okay, and I don't know. Next one was kind of more of a troll album, so I kind of guess that's kind of funny. But uh, you know, it's never my album. Nah. So yeah, that's my rating. Uh, thank you for listening, and bye.